Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, and today we're trying to try to, well, win the game with the twin event in the normal difficulty, in the apocalypse mode. Uh, still trying my best to just get this, I guess, what you would call a good ending in this game. Um, which requires me to apparently not attack anyone, according to the comments. And also, well, I will have to have a med kit. That is, that is a thing that didn't work for me the first time. I didn't have a med kit. It was fairly odd. But yeah, I hope I can do it this time. And I mean, I got the military last time. That was really cool, but it's not something that I actually went for. It it, it was a hmm, lucky mistake. I mean, I got rescued, so I will consider that as a win, but it was actually not my intention. All right, I'm trying to grab as many items as I can. I don't have a plan what items I grab except the med kit and, well, the kits and not a Boy Scout book. Always a good choice. Never go wrong with that. And I, while I'm at it, I oh, should have brought the padlock. Well, I can still do that. Only 30 seconds have passed. Uh, but first, yeah, I really want the med kit. That's important. I mean, I might be able to find one <clears throat> during the playthrough. During this run, I mean. But, yeah, just to be in the safe side, let's grab some other items first. Oh, the flashlight. Hmm. Flashlight or no flashlight? I don't know. You know what? Let's get the flashlight. Screw it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, Weasel. Okay, that's too tight. I mm, time is running out just as we speak, so I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Oh, it's a right flash there. Ah, <sighs> okay. Let's see what I've got. I hope I didn't screw up too badly. I didn't grab too much food, as far as I remember. But there's always a chance there's more in here. Okay, looks good. Looks good. I got. Six cans of soup, four bottles of water, gas mask. <clears throat> ah, the med kit. Med kit is awesome. Hmm. Let's see. All of us made into the shelter. We vaguely remember stashing some things. A soup. We, we kind of always get a soup. Um, so that's fine. It was in a suitcase. And wait. Oh, we didn't grab a... The gas mask. The gas mask was actually also in a suit. Nice. Shells are full of cans. Relief from cans. Plenty of water. Best stock shelter we've seen. Okay. I don't see a need to go out right now. We're going to wait for a few days. <clears throat> Possibly for the, well, fallout to disappear. But it's pretty much the only thing we can do. And wait for the phone to ring. I wonder if the phone uh, triggers the twins. It's, it's a little bit odd. I don't fully understand yet how the tr uh, twins work. Should read up on that. Neighborhood is still highly radioactive, but we're going to do an expedition for... You know what? No. No, 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 no. Don't... <sighs> we can't sleep properly. Damn it! Okay, doesn't matter. I can't go out tomorrow anyway, <clears throat> because my guys, uh, my family, is gonna be pretty... Well... Tired. Yeah, they're all tired. Well, except Mary Jane. Mary Jane, she could sleep. Worst. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. Water's what Mary Jane needs. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. The same spiel. Okay, sending no one. Well, I could send Mary Jane. She's she's more than ready to go out. More than ready. You know what? Let's 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 prepare. Let's send her out for tomorrow. Why not? I guess. I fi I figure why not. Might be an omen that she is not tired. You should go outside and you should grab the, hmm. Should she take the suitcase and all the other good stuff? I don't I don't think she needs to, honestly. Here, here, here's my problem right now with sending her. We have everything. We can't get another med kit. We can't get another one of these. We could maybe get a checkers board. But honestly, right now, there's no benefit for me going out. I mean, I might get an axe, okay. But I don't even know if I'm gonna need an axe. The rifle is going to do just fine for protecting us. Ah, well. All right, let's 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 make sure everyone gets water. Mary Jane is feeling so-so. Is that enough for an expedition? Probably not. What's that sound? A galloping horse? We rushed to the door and were greeted by two men dressed like they come from a medieval fair. We identified the source of the sound. One of them was holding two rocks and hitting them against each other constantly while the other was skipping and pretending to be a rider. They said they were looking for some teacup, but they got lost and would be most grateful if we could check our map provided we have one. Sure, let's give them one. I thought they would clap two coconuts together, not two rocks. Huh. Well, they would get something for that or just... Yeah, they seemed friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us and offered us some supplies in exchange. We graciously accepted and wished them luck on their quest. Mary Jane she says she's fine, doesn't need anything. That's good. Uh, yeah, nobody wants anything. 
And that worked out great. Got some extra food. Not that we're running low by any stretch. We're doing great. We heard something about supply drops in the radio. And that's why it didn't go out. Now, this is just a lucky coincidence. But yes, we are in. Since we didn't give anyone a gas mask. Or so we can use that to see what's been dropped. I like that event. Usually there's some good stuff in there. But the only stuff they could give me would be an axe and more food and water. And the gas mask is broken. Well, I deserve that. We went to get the supplies and our gas mask got a bit damaged. No taken. Don't stand under supply crop trade when it's falling out of the sky. If that is your only damage you took from a supply crate drop on you, then you're really lucky. Wow, that's a very protective mask. The airdrop crate we found wasn't exactly huge, but it contained a few supplies that will definitely help us. We were especially happy to find some water bottles and food cans. For a minute we thought it was canned meat, but then we found out it was tomato soup. Our theory is that the whole country used to run tom on tomatoes and no one suspected a thing. Two bottles of water, two cans of soup. Great. Mary Jane Stein could use a little food. Guess what, Mary Jane? It's your lucky day. You can have food because we, we have plenty. We have plenty of food. No, we're not going to start an expedition. I don't see that's useful right now. There's never a good time to go out into the radioactive wasteland, but it seems this will become a necessity rather sooner than later. An unknown creature started growling at us at the darkness. We only had moments to decide what to do. It's pancake. That's a fairly early pancake event, I gotta say. That's pretty cool, though. Maybe we can actually get him into a bunker. I would, I would sacrifice a medkit for that. Screw it. I mean, it's pancake. I know. We decided to check out what's coming with flashlight. It's a dog. All right. Timmy's very hungry. Dolores. Okay. Food, food, food. Not for you. You already had some. Looks like the air is still irradiated, so we don't go out. If there's anyone who can rescue us, it's the government. I don't see. Um, here's the thing. I don't care for the government. I want. I want the twins. I want the twins. I'm gonna listen anyway, for whatever reason. We knew it, the government has not fallen and they're coming to save us. Good for that, for us. Um, Timmy's in terrible shape, we need to give him water. Mm -hmm. Hey, Wheatley, how's it going? Dolores will not survive without water. Ted looks like it won't fit in the grave. Yes, okay. Tomorrow, water tomorrow. Um, it's been a while, don't know what's happening about the surface. Sure, let's listen to the radio. I mean, we listened yesterday, we got the, we, we know what's going on there, is the, what? What are you doing? He, he's up for no good. We will get a weak signal. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Terrible shape. Okay. It is water time. Ted is rested. Fantastic. That means he can go out. I do not want to prepare an expedition just yet. For the simple reason that I want to use up my med kit on Pancake. And then I'm going to do an expedition in the hopes that one of my characters finds a med kit out there. It's hard to not worry considering our current situation. Doesn't need anything. Okay. That is fine. That is a completely uneventful day. Mm. We didn't get to expect a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb. That's probably the twins. Let's send Ted over. That's probably the twins. I hope it is. or And not a tomato salesman. That would really blow. Because that is the event that I'm actually going for. Where are you going? Is it is it my pug? Oh. It's the pug. It's, it's, it's my hand rest. I'm using him as a hand rest and someone seems jealous. Yeah, I can't help you there. When we answer the phone, we could clearly hear the gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Alright, good, 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 good. Impressive. She looks fine, nothing new, everything seems to be good. Okay, here's the thing. Now that I have a med kit and I actually triggered the uh, friendly twin event, or at least the start of it, I kind of want to keep the med kit. And not give it to Pancake, that's... I, I guess I can play around with the event a little bit. So he doesn't have to die. That's that's a possibility. Okay. Ted is vigorous enough to withstand. Um, yeah, we're not sending anyone out right now. Scratching on a door could only mean one thing. Our dog friend is back. Let's give him soup. I don't mind giving him a full can of soup. It's a dog that's hungry. It just melts my itty bitty little weasel heart. We wish he could drink, 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 drink. Okay, Timmy is very hungry. Okay, Timmy, here's some soup. It's odd that the it varies when they want something. Are you are you okay? I. All right. It seems actually awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe. Maybe it's not. We don't know until we go out. No, we're not going out. It's difficult to keep time of track down here. Time of track. Yes, track of time down here. But at least remember Timmy's birthday here. Have a Boy Scout book. It's your birthday. Shorty. 
or Timmy, it's your birthday. Ah, we're gonna party like it's your birthday. We don't know if Timmy's ever going to be a Boy Scout. Possibly, I mean... If there's no, no, no Boy Scout club anymore, I guess he can become one. Just, just, just an educated guess on my side. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Dolores hasn't eaten in a while. Okay. Wait, okay, so Dolores wants food. Okay, everyone except Timmy. Sure, that's something that's wrong. You know what? Here, here, here. There you go. We're not certain about the situation on the surface. Should I send someone out? Not yet. I'm gonna wait. We're still really doing well in our bunker. I don't see a reason to just run out there into the dangerous wasteland and rescue our necks. <sighs> I don't even know. Rescue our necks. That might be a German idiom that I just translated into the English one. Hals riskieren. Hals und Kragen. Uh, we thought playing the silent game would be a good idea. Yes. Water. Water for everyone. You get water, and you get water. Actually, three bottles of water. That's not too much. Could be more, but let's wait up a little bit. We've been wondering what happened to Uncle Brian. Uncle Brian! I, he, I don't know. Let's ask the voice code book. He wrote it or so. I don't know what the... I still don't get it. The photo we were looking for was stuck between the pages of the scout handbook. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Timmy's good. Everything seems to be okay. I like that. I like I like when everything is okay. That makes me happy. They're happy. Makes me happy. Uh, do we get an event? Nope, we don't. Maybe tomorrow. Still waiting for the twins to show up and ask something of me. Like, hey, give us the med kit or so. We're not going to rob anyone. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation is far from normal. We might never get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. Mary Jane is feeling self. Timmy's on his best behave. Okay, hey. Not complaining here. Uh, not complaining. Uh, how about we put that radio to good use? Something might be on the air even now. Yeah. I, I don't mind that at all. There must be a generator because that light just keeps burning and burning and burning. It might be a battery, but... Oh, damn it. Something blew up inside the radio and wrenched the thing caught fire. That's okay because the twins, I don't think, need the radio just to government. So uh, I'm okay with it. Something to drink. Timmy doesn't need much. Dolores is drink. Okay. Yes. Yes. To, uh, day 20. Hey, it's Pancake. Our friend is back, but he seems very nervous and he keeps barking and jumping. When we open the door, he rushed out only to come back a moment later. Barkhouse asked again. This time we're going to take the rifle with us to follow him. And if I remember correctly, we're going to use it. It's going to shoot and Pancake is just going to run away. And it's not going to turn up again, which is okay with me because it means he doesn't come to my doorstep being shot. It's the old saying goes better safe than sh shaved than sorry. The rifle seems to be the right choice of gear for venturing into the unknown. We didn't expect to run into trigger-happy folk who started shooting before asking questions. Gunshots were enough to send Pancake running. We got back safely, but he didn't show up. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink fast. If I had an axe and took out the axe, I would have gotten four bottles of water. Just not happening. The Lords will not survive. That looks like a wound from the grave. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. We're good. We decided to have some fun today and play a game or two. The first one was picking the game we are going to play. And it was horrible. Everyone was sad because playing games after 20 days in the bunker is silly. Alright. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Timmy is very hungry. Hungry, hungry and thirsty. Wow. Yeah. Everyone's hungry and thirsty at the same time. Perfect timing. We're not certain about the situation. Um, We have two bottles of water. Okay. I'm going to prepare an expedition for... Tomorrow, just we're eventually going to run out of water, so it might be a good idea to get started on that. New news is good news, and no one's complaining. Uh, this morning, we we're surprised to find a letter on our doorstep. Ah, it was not signed, it contained a location and time for a meeting tonight, and a few sentences. It said things like, We're friendly, come unarmed, send one person. We have no idea who could have sent that, but we're guessing. This is our chance to find out. Are we sending someone? We're gonna send Dolores. Dolores! You seem pretty, uh, not dangerous. These are probably our friends, the twins. The meeting was organized by two siblings, a brother and a sister, who took it upon themselves to scout the remains of the city, looking for trustworthy and decent people. They seemed honest about their intentions and were more than happy to meet them again. They said they know where to find us and they're going to contact us if they need some help. So pretty much now it's just waiting. They're going to set up a camp, probably, and going to ask us for things. Um, I'm still going to prepare an expedition, I think, for tomorrow. And gonna send someone. I guess send Timmy. 
Most Jane insists she doesn't feel complete without her musical instrument. If she hid it well, maybe her tuba is still safe somewhere in the ruins of the house. A reminder of her hobbies and what life used to be might cheer her up a bit and make the situation easier for her. Should we let her out for a quick look around the house? This is new! I'm down. Let's do that. Let's let's send Mary Jane out and see what happens. She's sick. <clears throat> Great, great, great job, kid. Great job. Mary Jane got very excited when we agreed to let her look for the tuba. She said she can't find the instrument. Oh, she can't find the instrument. She'll settle for anything else she can find, like some sheet music. We sure hope the tuba didn't make it. <clears throat> We're pretty sure we prefer radio static or even the sweet sound of silence. Nothing made us happier when she came back. Exploring the wasteland should begin in our own backyard. Oh, it's an actual complete expedition? Interesting. Our streets was a good choice. A band of kids were playing. Ammunition. Okay, she found just just found ammunition. Okay, and she's she she she's sick now. Question is, do I give her a med kit? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna give her a med kit. Screw that noise. No. Okay. Um. She wants some food. Okay, let's give her some food. Here you go. Uh, expedition. We're gonna send Timmy, and we're gonna give him. I mean, just ammunition, that makes no sense. Maybe you should take... I don't want him to lose anything, so... You take the flashlight. Take the... I don't care. That might be okay. That might do the trick. Let's see. I do not want to risk losing that med kit in case our survivor group needs it. Tim went out to the nest, wasteland. We don't know what he'll do if he doesn't come back. The doors will not last long without water. Yeah, okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is water time. We had planned to go to the Niagara Falls, but those... Oh. We never expected to get a waterfall of our very own in our shelter. Let's save the map. I don't think I have a use for the playing cards. Those are usually used in an event with the military. Or when we get bored and want to spook away the crazy. Okay. Before any of the streams squirting from the walls could hurt our map, we tore it down. I still don't understand it. I, I, I still don't understand floods. The Lords will not survive without water any longer. Yes, yes, it's it's water time. I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah, and it's time to get scavenging. I have one bottle, 1.25 bottles left of water. That's not a whole lot, so we better hope that Timmy brings back something. Uh, Ted's stomach is rumbling. The Norse Okay. Wait. Okay, it's just it's just Ted. Here you go, Ted. Teddy boy. While Mary Jane was rummaging through her belongings, she found a single plant seed. We have no idea what kind of seed it is, but maybe it's start of something great. No, we're not gonna use a bottle of water to plant a silly seed. That's it might get it might become a giant carnivorous plant that attacks us. I'm not kidding you. That's a thing that can happen. And I don't have enough water to just throw it around like that. Yes, there are plenty of wet better ways to use our water. Drinking comes to mind. I agree. It seems that Mary Jane took it harder than we thought. She was really emotionally invested into growing that plant. Well, sorry, Mary Jane. Quite hungry. Dolores is fatigued. You're hungry, you say. Hmm. Why are you so hungry? When Dolores came back from that expedition the other day, she had a tiny scratch on her leg. It didn't seem very serious at the time, but right now it's a terrible sight. No. No. I'm not using that med kit. I'm... I'm... No. Oh, she's sick now. Well, as long as Ted isn't sick, we're good. We good. We didn't do anything about the infected wounds, after all. Our ancestors could survive without all that fancy medicine or vaccines, am I right? Ugh. I just feel dirty saying that. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Dolores had not eaten in a while. I guess I can give her some food. That's okay. Oh, when we had a knock on the door this morning, we held our breath in fear, but we soon heard children's voices coming from the outside. We decided to open up. It turned out the voices belonged to a pair of Gold Scouts. They used to sell cookies, but they've branched out and offered other items too. Smart Girls. They offer a gas mask for the Boy Scout book or a padlock for the checkers board. Uh, I don't have that, and the gas mask doesn't... Gas mask. The gas mask doesn't seem that important to me, so I'll just... Screw that. I don't want to give up my Boy Scout book. It's too useful. Oh, look at what Timmy brought. Timmy, you're your great son. Timmy's a great son. Look at that. Uh, he brought back the flashlight. Uh, he went to the hospital. He brought two bottles of water. And uh, I guess a mask uh, and the uh, axe. It's great. Timmy's great. Timmy's great. Timmy's just fantastic. Love Timmy. Timmy's awesome. All right. Um, Timmy needs some food. Here, Timmy. Have some food. That was fantastic. Okay. Uh, remains unknown. We're not going to send anyone out to scavenge. And we're just gonna sit it out, hoping for 
Uh, the twins to show up soon. It's after day 30, so that's usually when I accept knocks and anything else. Being stuck in such a tiny shelter, keeps fainting, should eat. Okay. How about I give you all some food and all some water? Just to get you all on the same schedule again. There are so many things you can do in a tiny bunker, so we thought, why not play some games? They're just not for kids, you know? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Ooh, someone sneezed. E Ugh, I feel, uh, I feel dirty. Someone sneezed on me. We played True for Dare. When it turned out, we only kept asking questions, and the most common was, are we going to eat anything besides tomato soup? We decided that's enough games for now. Timmy's very hungry. Dolores' health has not approved. Timmy's still hungry? Timmy, you're just eating and eating and eating. The siblings are back, just like they promised, yes, and they're asking for help. Their group is too big to fit where they currently reside, so they want to build a small camp nearby. They could really use someone with able hands and an axe to work on house construction. Should we send someone to help? Yes, let's send the axe. Um, I would love to pick someone, but I'm just giving, apparently going to give them the axe. Let's see what happens. It took a few hours, but we managed to chop everything they asked us, and even a bit more. Everybody was really grateful, and we got a lot of friendly pats on the back. Helping people and working together sure is a nice feeling. We hope we get to go visit our friends in their new home one day. M me too. Why can't we just go there? I mean, right now. What's 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 the holdup? Timmy should eat something. Timmy, you are a field for us. You just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and what are you doing for us today we met a bunch of people dressed in what looked like halloween doctor outfits they claim to be field hospital moving from place to place and attempting to help those hurt by the hazards of the wasteland problem is some of their supplies got eaten by something that looked like sasquatch they're asking if we have any spare hydrogen peroxide i don't know We don't have a whole lot of water. Let's let's be honest about that. If I give them the water, I have one bottle of water left. Uh, if I send someone to scout right now, like Timmy again, we might be fine. I I I can't help myself. I'm doing the nice let's play here. I'm on the the friendly playthrough. Let's call it the friendly run or so. I don't know. A bottle of relatively clean water is the closest we have. The guests were very grateful. Anyway. Uh, there should be some water left. Okay. Yeah, we kind of gave a little bit of that away. Um, gonna, gonna start the expedition for tomorrow. When we opened the bunker door this morning to let in the radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. There was a note. Uh, the neighborhood seemed empty. You know what? Yeah. Let's, let's check it out. Let's have a look and take a look inside. Hopefully there's a bottle of water in there. I could really use one. Nope, we got sick. Good job. Good job, Weasel. Good job. It was an instant looking bottle of water, so we took a sip. We thought we got lucky, but it was a lie. Either it was, was irradiated or some kind of biological weapon. It made us feel pretty sick. Well. Those will not survive without any water any longer. Ted got sick. Okay, I'm gonna give... I, I have to, kind of now. Don't I? Who should go outside? Ted should go outside, I think. Or I'm just gonna send the mother. <sighs> okay, if I give him the med kit, he can go scavenging. But if she dies... You know what? I'm gonna send the mother. With an axe. She might survive. She might not. We'll see. If we get really lucky, she survives. At least it's one less mouth to feed. Beijing keeps fainting. Okay, it, it's time for water now. Damn it. <sighs> not enough. Day 35. Today we were visited by strange looking little man who introduced himself as a traitor. He insists his prices are so low that it's practically like cutting his own throat. Terry Pratchett, anyone? The least we could do was take a look at his offer. Okay, so he gives us this for the. Uh... Ah, he's gonna give us a radio for ammunition. That's kind of ballin'. Then again, the radio is just for the military, and since I don't care about the military... I do like the idea about the padlock. The padlock is actually pretty cool. Alright. Give me a padlock for the flashlight. And we might be able to send Ted out. Ah, Ted needs the med kit. There's... there's... Ted needs some med kit. It's it's I'm too worried that he's just gonna die. Also, does anyone need anything? Okay. We're good. Let's hope 
Let's hope Dolores makes it back. That's the only hope I have right now with water. Mary Jane just decided that she was... Her sickness got worse. And when we weren't able to provide her with medicine, she decided it's a time to cure whatever she had on her own. She left a note saying she's not coming back since she never even liked our town to begin with. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation is far from normal. We might never get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. Timmy's very brave. Ted recovered from his sickness. Well, there you go. Dream team. Father and son. Today, during breakfast, we were stalled when our map slid off the wall. We checked the nails holding it, but they were all firmly in place. It could be a portal, guys. Maybe we need to perform an exorcism to get rid of it. Anyway, in the wall behind the map, we discovered some sort of safe. We were curious at what might be inside. Should we open it? Yes, it's a safe. Why would you not open it? It would drive me crazy if we don't. Inside of it is a deadly insect that's going to bite your head off. Something along those lines, right? Okay. Go one, two. We're still not certain how the map fell down, if it was some ghost playing tricks. Inside the safe we found some useful items. A can of soup! Ted went crazy. Timmy should eat something. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Okay. Well, at least we can give him food, that's something. The trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans and that unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Alright, let's use the Boy Scout book to deal with that situation. I am running out of time a little bit here. Oh, wow. Dolores made it back and she brought water. Dolores, honey. You're the best. Y'all that are y'all best. That was close. A nest of those glowing bugs might be more than enough than to drive us into the wasteland. Roaches are the worst, but radioactive roaches, yikes! We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. A pile of car wrecks revealed that stumbled across a big parking lot. Almost no cars survived the blast wave, but we went between the wrecks to explore anyway. Under the burned remains of a picnic table, we found some bottled water. Those bottles were not in the best state, but their contents look perfectly drinkable. It seems like the bomb is out to someone's picnic. Thankfully, we were big fans of tomato soup. Eh, they were big fans, and the instructable cans were scattered all around the parking lot. We returned from the expedition, but the axe didn't make it. That's okay. We already used it. All right, Dolores has barely any strength left. If she doesn't eat tonight, she will not last till morning. Her sanity is questionable. She's really tired. All right. Let's just, um... Yeah, Dolores. I'm sorry, Dolores, but here's the deal. You look like you're about to die. You're crazy. You're starving. I'm sorry. His mother has to sacrifice herself. Mother has to sacrifice herself. Day 40. Timmy went crazy, too. Okay, they're both nuts now. Dolores barely, bravely faced hunger, however, eating is a habit that's hard to shake off. She couldn't take it anymore. Okay, so Timmy was driven crazy, has rested. Okay, nobody can go out and do something right now. That's somewhat problematic. Let's just hope. Timmy has a chance to get back. Tim Ted seems to be in really good shape for a trip. In really good shape, though. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to send Ted with the padlock. That's what the padlock is for. And again, I could also just send Timmy because we got Timmy sitting here. All right. You know what? Let's send Timmy. Better, better chances. Who should go outside? Timmy. And we're gonna give him the suitcase. Suitcase. In the suitcase, we're gonna give him uh, the gas mask and the rifle and the map. All these three things. I mean, that's the perfect, perfect outfit. Perfect combination of items to go scavenging. So let's hope that it makes sense. Man, it looks bad in here. All right. Timmy went out into the wasteland with all the important uh, tools we could have. Hoping... That we get a med kit. That's that's what I'm hoping for. All right, Ted says there's no need to worry him. He's okay. The siblings visit us again to reveal that camp is almost finished. People are starting to move in, and among them, quite a lot of kids. The group strongly believes that these children need to get educated, especially in these circumstances. They're looking for books, comics, manuals, and pretty much any reading material they can get. Take our Boy Scout book and then take us, please. Man. Okay, I mean, lucky that that was a thing that I didn't want a med kit yet. So let's hope that works. Ted is hungry. Ted should drink something soon. Okay, here's some food. A group of people dressed in green pajamas knocking on a hatch is not something that we anticipated, yet this is exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insist that they are merry men and wish to take from the rich gift to the poor. Oh, um, bop, 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 bop. should we let them in? I mean, I have pretty much nothing left. I have some, you know what? Let's, let's let them in. I'm poor. Uh, aren't I? I feel I'm kind of poor here. Let's just hope for the best. And they... I don't think they did anything. Oh, those merry folks are very kind. They noticed we didn't have a radio and offered us one. They got it from the 1%. Good. That went well. Alright, does Ted want anything? Nope. He, oh, well, he needs a drink. 
tomorrow, day 45, we were able to receive another message from the government. Ah, screw the government! Screw the government! I don't care about the government. Okay, Ted, time for some water for you. It's water time. Uh, bup, 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 bup. We were wrong. Okay, here. It's hard being down here, living here. We need to make the best of it. Yes, like getting rescued by those twins. How about that? How about we do that? That'd be so great. That would be so fantastic. Ted has always had a heart of gold. Oh, he fed a can of soup to the cockroach. That's okay, we have 2.5 cans. He went a little crazy. And he's behaving really odd. Hmm. Okay, does he want anything? No, he's fine. We really miss the life we had, the space, the sky, the food, more food. <sighs> Timmy's back, yay! And he brought things back. He brought a med kit. Oh yeah. Lucky, okay, we got the gun back. And what is happening? Oh, the monkey, the monkey event. The monkey brought, we got two cans of soup, a bottle of water, med kit, and we lost a map. I'm okay with that. Uh, we lost that and as well. Okay, we lost a lot of things, but we got a med kit back and that might be the only thing that I went out for. Okay, Timmy wants some food. Timmy, here's some food. Uh, anything else? Nope, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna send anyone out anymore. I think we're fine. Ah, oh, Timmy, he was always a wild one. A shelter is not the best environment for a boy who's hell-bent on running around until he can barely breathe. He really misses that. He asked if we go out to the surface, even for a short while. This sounds highly dangerous and irresponsible. Should we agree? No! No! You're not going out there without a gas mask. You're just gonna... You're gonna go crazy because you're gonna be stuck inside? You are already crazy. We had to say no. What else could we do? It's dangerous and Timmy said puppy eyes. Sad puppy eyes aren't enough to convince us. And no, chewing your own foot is not a convincing argument either. Timmy should eat. Uh, okay. Give him food. During the night, we heard some suspicious sound coming behind the door. When we peeked in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. It has no address or name on it, but we were pretty sure it's meant for us. Should we open it? Sure. Please don't drink the water that's inside of it and get sick again. That'd be so good. Okay, what, what did we get? What happened? Uh, a bottle of water! We inspected it thoroughly after taking it out of our suitcase, but it looks absolutely harmless and purified. We hope we meet the... Okay, this generous stranger. Timmy's very hungry. I'm surprised we took in a suitcase. But we don't get a suitcase, we just get a bottle of water. Timmy's very hungry. Okay. Here's some food, Timmy. We could really use some more supplies. We counted them all and the numbers did not make us happy. Time to try to do something about it. We know... Nope, we're not going to go to the teacher where they're relatively safe. A bunch of kids. Yeah, no, let's... No, 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 no. We're not stealing... We're not stealing anything. We're gonna be nice, friendly people so the siblings take us in. Day 50 already. This is pretty intense. Robbing innocent people? Absolutely not. We are not savages. We cannot stoop that low. It's important to keep our values even in those troubled times, especially in this troubled times. Let's set a shiny example and leave those poor people alone. Timmy's very hungry. Timmy's in terrible shape. Okay, here you go. All right, everyone's hungry for the third day in a row. Here's water. Okay. Uh, d -d 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 Still no survivor camp event, but we do have the med kit in case they need that. I don't know what else they could need. There might be other requirements that they're gonna throw at me for items that I don't have. Timmy is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. Ted is fine. I like that. Who should go outside? Oh, wait. Uh, but, 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 but on our way back from the last expedition, we noticed some drawings on a half ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map of our town in one place walk with an X. No. No. No, we're not gonna check. No. No. No, no, no. No, no. We're not going out anymore. We have plenty of water, we have plenty of food. Going out right now is just silly. You wanna kind of step up? You've been mumbling over there, so... He, he's been up to something, I don't know. We might be missing out, but we decided against following the pointers drawn on the wall. Maybe someone else will be bold enough to try it. Timmy's in his best behavior. No problems. I like that. We woke up to the sound banging of our door. Someone has been added like there's no tomorrow. In a manner of speaking, that might be true. Shall we open the door? It might be the twins. Please? Yay! It's the twins! Ha <laughs> ha! Fantastic! All this hard work paid off. Our dead wife and, well, possibly daughter, I assume. Maybe she cleared herself. We got the event! Very nice! For so long we thought the world has really turned into a cruel, unforgiving, and hopeless place. But today our views on it were challenged when the siblings and a few other people from their group visited us with an invitation to come live with them in their freshly built, fully 
fully functional camp. This is our chance to have a normal life again, being between friendly and good people, taking care of each other during the good and the bad, and uniting together against the evils of the wasteland. This is an emotional moment for us and a time to leave our dark but cozy shelter on a way to a brighter future. Farewell, our humble little home. We're starting a new life today. We survived for 53 days. Amazing. We got the event. I'm really happy about this. This is pretty much what I played for. And... Well, yeah, if you guys have uh, ideas for challenges for the new DLC, suitcase DLC, and yes, I've been reading the old ones, but if you have some for challenges for 60 seconds, leave them below in the comments below. I'm not going to do one every day. I'm not going to spam you with 60 seconds, but if there's a cool challenge, I might do that in the upcoming days. Yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted. So if you see something that you like, leave a like. If you see a challenge, that's cool. If you have an idea yourself, leave it below. Please don't post them under, under other videos or somewhere else on the channel. I'm just going to remove those. It's just very confusing. Just keep them here under this video. Not on Facebook, not on Twitter. Just here. Just this video. Also hit that like button. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. We survived. Yay. Bye-bye.